When the Texas freeze happened, a lot of people went to their cars to stay warm. I'm gonna teach you how to be safe and warm in your vehicle. So the first thing you need to do is check your exhaust pipe for snow and ice. A lot of people died in their cars of carbon monoxide poisoning, even when they weren't sitting in a closed garage because their exhaust pipes were blocked and the carbon monoxide filled up the cabin. And carbon monoxide will knock you out before it kills you and it kills you fast. So that's the first thing you need to do is check your exhaust pipe. To be extra safe, maybe get a small carbon monoxide monitor that you can keep in your car. Water is another essential item. When you're dehydrated, your body cools down faster and you're more susceptible to freezing. Grab you some Mylar blankets or Mylar sleeping bags. These will help you retain body heat and keep you warm. If you can't get one of those, the window sun blocking things that you put on your car to keep the sun out. Um, the other side of those, the shiny silver side, that's mylar. So wrap yourself up in that. And keep a car heating kit. I'm gonna show you how to make it. You need an empty, cleaned out can. A tea light candle and a lighter. Light the candle, put it in the can. Like this. Believe it or not, that will actually heat up your car pretty well. If you're worried about that little candle, again, it's good to have a carbon monoxide monitor. I keep extra coats in my car too for my kids and extra wool socks and extra scarves. And make sure you have a solar powered cell phone charger so that if you need to call for help, if you need to call 911, you're able to charge your phone even if your car won't start in case you can't charge your phone. Hope this helps guys, stay warm.